why TBC was to do. Um, now we know Marco Huck won the uh, fourth installment between him and uh, Ola Afalabi. A lot of you came to my page and was listening to the post fight uh, video I did, and a lot of you were disgusted by his performance, and I wasn't overly impressed by his performance either. So I can't sit here and act like that. You know, it was an explosive performance that where you know you guys are hating on, but. You're not, you know, I mean, some guys even said he looked shot and so did Afalabi, you know what I mean? And we can argue that now. That fight was for the IBO title. Um, I don't really count the IBO. You know, it's uh, we know the, the four major ones, the WBC, the BA, the BO, and the IPF. Although guys like uh, shit, Vladimir Klitschko, even didn't Roy have the IBO, light heavyweight? I mean, there's been some... You know, good, great fighters that have held the title, but it's really not noticed yet. Maybe in about five, six years, it might be. Who, who knows, man? But um, he did win the title. So I was looking at the IBO rankings. Um, uh, let's see here. Alexander Usyk is number three. Marius Bredis is number two. Um, Lunga Makabu is number one. Tony Bellu number four. I mean, there's some fights here. You know, um, for a lot, Farad Arslan is number seven but he's fought arslan what twice already um i'm not sure he's gonna want want that work from marius Bredis. i'm not sure he's gonna want, want that work from alexander Usyk. Uh, i think those guys are probably two the two best up and coming guys in the division i would probably have to put my money on those two but there's some good talent you know up and coming talent um guys like keith tapia and uh, michael hunter jr um and we know the division, Lebedev, you know, I mean, we know there's some solid guys there. I'm, I'm talking about the up and coming rise in talent, but I don't I think he should just get rid of this IBO, you know, because I mean, if you're going to lose at this point in Huck's career and this is why I made the video. It's like, where do you guys think Huck should go? Because a lot of fans say, man, you know what? Huck's been around since what shit? 2004. He's been in there with Cunningham, Mento, um, the four fights with Afalabi, uh, Shit, Goodfree, the Lebedev fight. I mean, he's been there with some solid guys at cruiserweight. And when he won that WBO strap, would he make 13 consecutive defenses? That's crazy, you know. And then, uh, well, sandwiched between those defenses, he went up to heavyweight and challenged himself against Alexander Povetkin. Close fucking fight, man. If you had it a draw, I can see that. If you had it one point maybe for a hook, I can see that. It was a close competitive fight. A majority decision win for Pavekin, but it was close. And that was 2012. Um, and then he loses to Glowacki, you know. So, he lost to Glowacki. And that set him back, obviously. Now, after the fight, you know, which I'm surprised that WBO just didn't have immediate rematch. I mean, if there's somebody who's warranted for a rematch, you would think it's a guy that held on to your title and defended it 13 consecutive times. Now, I don't know exactly what happened as far as, you know, maybe his team didn't do their due diligence and putting that in the contract. Maybe they thought this would be an easy win. But anyways, according to Marco Huck, his team offered Glowacki a bag full of money. They didn't want it. They went a different route picking Steve Cunningham, which isn't an easy touch. So, you know what I mean? I think they're good with the win over Huck and they probably want to move on. But Huck wants the rematch. And I like that about Huck that he has that in him, you know, that, uh, you know, you beat me. So I want to come back and beat you. You know, he's not OK with losing to Glowacki. He wants to fight. You know, he, he wants that rematch. But what I'm looking at is, you know, Marco Huck is only, you know, 31. Was he 31 years old? And he hasn't, you know, he's he, it's not like he's close to 40 or anything. But you just think he is. He doesn't like the same Marco Huck as far as you know from his younger years but so he is aging a little bit you know and just the amount of fights he's been in i mean he's been in with some good competition man some solid competition at cruiserweight he's been one of the best cruisers for a while now so the glowacki say he loses to glowacki again you know that that's just gonna push him so back so far in the rankings um and i hate saying this but i almost want to say he should just cash out at heavyweight like if you if this is towards the end of his career, he hasn't said anything about retiring, but a lot of fans just think he looks kind of shot. So if he is, so if that is, you know, true that he's shot, I think he should just cash out at heavyweight. I mean, 
You look at his losses, the one to Pavekin. We know Pavekin is getting ready to fight for a, a title against um, uh, Deontay Wilder. He also held the WBA title himself, you know, so, and Huck did well against Pavekin. Um, Steve Cunningham, a guy who, you know, was a formidable guy at heavyweight, uh, gave Fury problems, beat a mere man sore, so on and so forth. So he did well at heavyweight. You know, so, and even a guy like Brian Mento, who he beat, who has fought a whole bunch of heavyweights, Parker, and a whole bunch of uh, prospects, you know, fell short. But I think Huck should just go up to heavyweight, man, and just, I don't know, you know, it's not like he's going to get, you know, I expect him to move up to the number one contender to get a shot and want to sanction the bodies. But what I'm saying is maybe he can get position himself, maybe go through the WBO's rankings and position himself for maybe a top 10 ranking fight somebody and just position himself for a fight like right now uh, i know he just got off this fight with Afalabi. you know um maybe try to get in there and intercept you know david hay trying to get a title shot or if you know if the winner out of um joshua and martin um i know they're set to fight the winner out of um uh, was it joseph parker and carlos takam for the IBF, I know they're trying to set up some type of elimination, <clears throat> you know, so maybe, you know, Huck can, you, you know, if wh whoever holds on to the title, whether it's Martin or Joshua, if, if they don't fight that number one mandatory yet, maybe, you know, Huck can probably weasel his way in there with him being a former, you know, uh, very successful cruiserweight and that performance he put on against Pavekin, maybe that's enough, you know. But I know he did get knocked out by Glowacki. If he had Glowacki down in the six, had him hurt, like he's going to end the fight, you know. So, and he was winning on all the scorecards when the stoppage happened. You know, it wasn't like he was getting his ass whooped or anything. Like he fought great against, or he fought a good fight against Glowacki, um, a Marco Huck fight. You know, fights and spurts. But in this video, man, I'm just talking about if Marco Huck should just cash out at heavyweight, try to get one good fight, probably, you know, steal his way to a title shot when these guys are making those defenses in between their mandatory. Maybe he can get in with, you know, uh, still a title shot, you know, successful cruiserweight, man, 13 successful, you know, def defenses of the title. That has to mean something, man. You know what I mean? And he was an active champion when he was making those defenses, you know, so. Yeah, I think he was champion from like 2009 to last year when he lost to Glowacki. So um, maybe Huck should cash out. Maybe I'm wrong about this. Maybe Huck has about four or five more years um, to fight a cruiserweight at a high level. I could be wrong. You know, it's just my guess. Just a lot of fans think he looks a little shot. I won't say he looks shot, but it doesn't look like the Huck that I'm used to. It's not the Huck I've seen against Povekin or some of those earlier fights, man. But um. What do y'all think about this? Do you think Huck should just retire altogether? Do you think he should, you know, just stay a cruiserweight and give guys like Marius Breedis and Alexander Usyk, you know, fights? Or should he just try to focus on getting this Glowacki versus Cunningham winner? Actually, uh, what's ironic is the winner of that fight, both of those guys beat him. So that'd be awesome to see that, you know what I'm saying, for him to fight the winner of that fight. So... I would say he could fight the winner out of Glowacki and Cunningham because it makes sense. Both guys beat him. Just recently, Glowacki knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? And then, or he can just move up to heavyweight. You know, that's what I think he should do. Um, I'm sure his management, you know, probably got other plans. They really want that Glowacki. He wants it. But I'm thinking, man, maybe just cash out at heavyweight. Just try to get a big fight and just cash out at heavyweight, man. What do y'all think about this? He's been a pro for 12 years. Not like he's just, you know... Uh, you know, uh, just coming of age. I mean, he's been around for a while, but he's only 31, but he has a lot of miles on his 31 year old body though. What do y'all think about this? Or do you even care? But, um, I think he should probably just try to cash out a heavyweight if he can, but if not, I mean, there's some names there at cruiserweight, you know, but, um, I don't know, man, just Yusuk and Breedis and all these young guns I see coming up, man. You know, Keith Tapia and Hunter Jr. And Lebedev, the, and Lebedev was already established. I mean, I mean, he's fought Lebedev. I mean, he's beaten some of these guys, but it's just if he gets into just, you know, rematches and who knows if he wins. And that fight with Lebedev was hella close. You know what I mean? Uh, it was, I believe it was a split decision or a majority. It was, I know, I know the fight was close. You know what I mean? So, 
What do y'all think that Marco Huck should do with his career, man? I think he should go up to heavyweight. Just cash out, man. A lot of miles on the body. Just my opinion. YTBC. I'm out.